So this past weekend, I ended up shooting a wedding at a barn venue, and the couple decided to do the ceremony indoors, and they wanted to have the barn doors opened where you could see the backdrop behind it. And if you've ever done a ceremony in this type of lighting situation, you know that the highly overexposed background with the underexposed faces of the wedding party is a real challenge to shoot in. So I talked with a couple about this and I talked with the photographer and ended up renting a light kit. And normally this wouldn't be that big of a deal to address to you guys. Um, but I wanted to point out some of the features of this light kit that I ended up getting that really saved me and helped with my vendor relationships uh, on the wedding day as well. So I ended up getting these digital Sputniks, which they're all LED lights. They put out the equivalent of, they say 650 watts, but um, I'm finding on the warmer end of the scale, they're putting out more like a 500 watt type of equivalent. On the higher end, they're putting out something like a 700 watt. But one of the amazing things about these LED lights is actually you can fully control them through Wi-Fi. So for example, this particular light here, I can adjust the color temperature on the fly, which the time of the day that we ended up shooting this, it was sunset, so the color temperature was drastically changing outside the venue. And the inside, the interior barn lighting was all the 2700 Kelvin type of range. So theoretically, we could have actually adjusted the lights to balance the changing light throughout the ceremony, even though we ended up not doing that, ended up putting them somewhere around the 4,000, 4,500 range. But through Wi-Fi control, you control the full color range temperature, so I can dial it all the way from 1,500 Kelvin all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin, which is a pretty broad range for an LED light, and it's really color accurate. I can also control the intensity, so this is only about 10% intensity right here, and that would be 100% right there. So I actually have ND filters on my camera, and it's still overpowering the camera. I found that the Wi-Fi range on these is actually really good. Uh, you know how when you're dealing with some type of Wi-Fi signals, they'll end up dropping in and out. I ended up being, I think at the most, about 80 feet away from the lights at one point and still never had any issues with connecting to the, the lights through the iPad. Um, and as far as dealing with things like the DJs, you know, they don't typically like having outside light sources because it tends to ruin the dancing. Well, I was able to work with the DJ on this particular scenario because these lights, you can dial in various colors. So this has the full color range spectrum. Any color you possibly want to create, you can dial in with these lights. And so they ended up being really amazing for uh, working with the, the DJ actually creating that party type of atmosphere and still being able to have enough light output for us to actually shoot some video because there was really no other lighting to speak of within this barn. Uh, they did have some main chandeliers overhead, but they end up turning those off during the reception, so we really have nothing to work with as far as light goes. So the DJ actually seemed to like these lights pretty well. It added some extra ambient atmosphere and still allowed us to record video, actually have some good lighting for the video, even if it was a little off color. But at that point during the dancing, just any light is, is really nice to have. So. Um, they're a little expensive to actually own as a company. Uh, they range about $2,500 per light fixture, but it's something to where if you really were in a pinch and dealing with these really tough lighting situations, it's something I would really recommend as a rental option because it saved me on this wedding and it could possibly save you on your wedding.